Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the flow to make a call out to fetch bank holiday information and then add these bank holidays as holiday records within Salesforce. To get started, I need to create a named credential to authenticate against. This is a publicly available API. So I'm not going to need to use a username or password to get the information here because it's unauthenticated. To get started, I'm going to create an external credential. Against my external credential, I'm going to set the authentication protocol to custom. Now that's done, let's create our named credential. Now to grant access to my external credential, I need to add in a principal and assign this to a permission set. Now that I've added my principal, I'm going to go to permission sets and create a new permission set, which gives access to this external credential principal. I'm going to call this access to the bank holiday API, press save, and then against the permission set, external credential principal access. I'm going to edit this and add in my Access Bank Holiday API access. And then I'm going to manage assignments and give myself this permission set. Now that that's done, let's head over to Flow. From here, I want to create a new flow. I'm going to choose a screen flow. So within my flow, I'm going to add a screen so the running user can specify the country code and also the year. I'm going to default the country code to GB. And I'm going to add another text variable for the year. And for this one, I'm not going to set a default. So that's now done. And now I need to add an action to create a HTTP callout. So from here, I want to use my public bank holiday API. And I want to use get to fetch public bank holidays. So for the URL path, I want to add in the year. And I also want to add in the country code like this in curly brackets. So that's now expecting an input. I want these to be string inputs just to keep things simple. And then I need to provide a sample response. Once I've added in my sample response, I need to validate it. And then once I'm happy with this, I'm going to press done and then save. And now you can see my external service is expecting a country code and a year value. So I'm going to feed in my country code and my year into here. I'm going to press done. So as we're building this, let's save the flow and activate it. And let's debug to make sure that we're on the right track. So you can see that the external callout has fetched all of those public holidays for us. So back within the flow builder, I want to loop around the public holidays and create a holiday record for each. So after our action, let's create a loop element. 
this is going to be loop around public holidays. And ultimately, I want to loop around the output. So for each record, I want to use a single record variable to store each holiday record, add that single record variable into a collection, and then insert all of the holiday records at the end. So I'm going to call this holiday record single. And it wanted to be a record of the holiday object. And I also want to create another variable for holiday record collection. And again, it's going to be a record of the holiday object. This time I want to allow multiple values. So within my loop, I am going to use an assignment element to store the record details for each individual holiday. So within this, I want my holiday record single and I want the name of the holiday to be set. I also want is all day to be set to true. And I also want the description to be set and also the activity date. So the holiday name, I'm going to get it from the current item from the loop. And I'm just going to pop in local name into there. The description, my current item from the loop, I'm going to put in local name as well. And then the date is going to be the current item from the loop. And then the date. So I've added that to a single record variable. And now I want to add that to a collection. So I want holiday record collection, add holiday record single, and then press done. And then at the end of my loop, I want to create all of my holiday records at once. So now that's done, I'm going to save my flow again, activate it, and then debug it. I'm going to run. I'm going to set the year for 2023, press next. And you can see that my flow has successfully retrieved the bank holiday details. And it looks like it has created the holidays as well. I'm going to go to holidays. And now you can see that my flow has added in the bank holiday details as expected. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.